Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of the Florida Pain Network. Today's topic is an overview of minimally invasive spine surgery. Well, what exactly is it? Minimally invasive spine surgery, known as MISS for short, describes surgery of either the back or the neck that is performed through tiny incisions with less soft tissue disruption than with conventional open surgery. The goal is to perform spinal procedures that have less blood loss, less post-operative pain, and a faster recovery time. The main goal, though, is to achieve a spinal surgery that is just as safe and effective as an open procedure with the benefits. If that goal can be achieved, along with the smaller incisions, less blood loss, and tissue disruption, then the goal is achieved. Now, what type of procedures are applicable to with a minimally invasive approach. The first is going to be a discectomy. If you have a piece of herniated disc that's pinching on a nerve root and causing uh, sciatica in the lumbar spine or radiculopathy in the cervical spine, those can often be approached minimally invasively um, through a tube and that procedure works exceptionally well. A spinal decompression procedure is if you have spinal stenosis and this is where spinal arthritis or soft tissue overgrowth from arthritis can pinch on nerve roots, so that can be done minimally invasively. Um, and those can be done in conjunction or not with a spinal fusion procedure where you're basically uh, approaching the spine, and you can see this here, um, minimally invasively and putting an inner body fusion device in between these vertebrae and fusing them together. Now there's different types of approaches. One's called transferaminal, one's called the X-lift, there's one called the O-lift now, there's a P-lift. And basically, they're doing the same thing, but just from different angles. What are the problems with traditional open spine surgery? Well, as you can see here, you do a long incision, depending on how many levels you're, in, you're going to approach. You do a huge dissection where you take muscles off, okay? And then you put these retractors in, and you keep them there for quite a long time. So there's a lot of blood loss. There's a lot of tissue damage. And depending on uh, how long these are being retracted, you can cause uh, decreased oxygen and blood flow to these actual tissues, and they can become basically dead, okay? And that could lead to what's called fusion disease, where the tissue doesn't heal very, heal very well, and it just forms a lot of scar tissue, okay? So you're talking about blood loss, scar tissue, there's potential for, potential for infection because the incision is open for a long time, and then uh, blood clots can occur as well. What does the research on minimally invasive spine surgery show? The research has shown that minimally invasive fusions and decompression procedures have a similar or better complication rates than open procedures. And this is very recent research. What about complication rates? Well, spinal fusion with minimally invasive spinal surgery has less blood loss and no increased complications for such things as infections, dural tear, uh, misplaced screws, um, and minimally invasive spinal surgery for fusion had less blood loss, decreased hospital stay, lower complications, and similar fusion rates in another recent study. Okay, so very, very good results. Now, does minimally invasive spine surgery reduce the problems of open, open surgery? Well, yes and no. Several studies have shown less blood loss, less post-operative pain, and decreased infection rates along with shorter recovery and quicker return to work. However, it's not across the board. There are plenty of studies which show, um, they don't show increased um, infection rates or anything like that with minimally invasive surgery, but a lot of them just show um, results that are equivalent, okay? Now, here you have a procedure uh, called a kyphoplasty. Look at these incisions. They're like nothing. They're covered by a little Band-Aid, okay? And you have a normal vertebrae, and if you have a compression fracture, Rather than having to make a big open incision and going in there, you make these tiny little incisions, put a little catheter in, inflate a balloon, and then take the balloon out. And in place of the balloon, you put bone cement. So it restores that height that was lost. It decreases pain over 90% of the time. It's been an amazing minimally invasive procedure. The Florida Pain Network combines the top non-operative and operative pain management, and spine doctors who are board certified and experts in minimally invasive spine surgery. There are many clinics throughout Florida accepting over 50 insurances and achieving very high success rates. For the Miami clinics, visit us at miamipainmanagement.com. 
and then call us for more information and scheduling at 877-927-7525. I'm Dr. David Green with the Florida Pain Network. Your pain stops here.